In today's video, we're opening the last five years of Megatons. What's up guys, we're back with another new Megaton opening. And as you guys saw, we have not this year's Megaton, well, we do have this year's Megaton, but not just this year's Megaton, we also have the last five years of Megaton. So this is gonna be super fun to go through and check out the last five different years. And all other vary, some of them are similar, some of them are not, you know, it's good. They're all different in their own ways. I'm pretty excited to do this. Before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a sealed 25th anniversary 2023 Mega 10. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite 10 from the last five years, and let's get into the opening. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna start off with the 25th anniversary, the brand new 10 that just came out. By the way, if you haven't seen my other videos, we've done a case opening of this already. We did an early opening, go check those out. We also, tomorrow, will be opening 100 of these. So if you like seeing one of these open, you might like seeing 100 of them or you might like seeing me just die from opening so many packs and i can confirm i did actually get my 10 so we will be actually be doing the video uh the live stream i should say it will be tomorrow on saturday so make sure to come check it out it's gonna be super fun also check out sat seattle's links down below if you guys want to pick up some of these for yourself it's an affiliate link with me supports me now let's get to the opening all right guys promo right here a little dented actually but let's see if we got a nice promo come on Ooh, one we didn't get before it's not a crazy one decode talker but it is one that I've not pulled quite yet, so that's pretty cool. I still have not pulled a Black Rose. I'm just like I haven't pulled the Starlight Black Rose. I have not pulled the, I will not say fake Starlight. I will not say fake Starlight. The other Starlight. <laughs> okay, Deco Talker. I'm just kidding. I'm just trolling. I'm trolling, guys. All right, Deco Talker. I gotta say, I gotta clarify, because sometimes people take me too seriously. Never take me too seriously, okay? That is your first mistake. All right, three packs here, mega pack. We're gonna have a score on the screen, so it's gonna be all five, so you know each one's gonna have a score. We've already got some value for 2023. We're gonna see which one wins. These This has pre-release prices, so keep that in mind. It has a little advantage there. Uh, because we're editing it on Thursday. Well, I know Friday is the official release date for TCG player sellers and everything. Uh, it's being edited on Thursday, so keep that in mind. My editor, I don't wanna kill him. I want him to have, have some time to edit it. He can't just edit it day of every time. That would be miserable. Okay, we have the uh, Sunlit. That was a Ruxin special, by the way. Camellia, that got an upgrade. I, we didn't pull that last time. I have an entire case. That's pretty cool. Zalamander Catalyzer. We have Spellbound Ultra Rare. The Water Enchantress of the Temple. Nice secret. And a Runic Fountain. A couple of good secrets right there. Very solid. I don't know what the values are sitting at, but I'm sure pre-release they'll be a couple bucks at least. By the time it comes out, who knows? There are a lot of different cards in the Secret Rare slot, so we'll make it harder to pull those but at the same time uh there's just so many megatons open it's not going to be you know that rare we have dynamorphia brute that's it's always a ruxa special over the rare every time the super it's just very slick you know exosister armament cash tier of preparations spiral double agent amazon is pet liger king not one i'm really looking for and visa star frost very nice these are the first cards i'm actually opening for myself the others have all been given away either from sassiato shout out to the legend or uh, I gave them away on Wednesday. Final pack, and by first cards, I mean first 25th anniversary tins, because uh, I've opened a lot of them, but none of them have been for me yet. These are for me, moi, the one you're looking at. We got Baku, the Beast Ninja, Secret Arts, Dragoonity Senatus, Senatus, it's always past the rare. It's hard, guys, I'm telling you. If you ever open these yourself, it's very difficult. Naturia Mole Cricket, the Naturia's got the nice super rare treatment. They were all like commons before, so that's cool. Uh, Runic Destruction, nice. Lever Mantra Fire, here's our first secret rare, Beyond the Pendulum. I did not pull this out of an entire case, so that just shows you some of the secrets, like not necessarily short, short printage, there's just so many options, like you might, and probably will not get all of them. Uh, and then, oh yes, the card I've been searching for, Magic Karibo. We pulled it one time yesterday. I am pumped that that is a secret rare. That is super nice. Sorry if I still sound a little under the weather. I've been, you know, had a cold and stuff. So hopefully I will be full strength for tomorrow's live stream. All right, next in 2022. This has the pot of prosperity potential, but no promos. So there's some pluses and there's some minuses to this one. Here's the score so far of 2023's prices. Let's see if 2022 can beat that. Here we go. All right, here we go. We have, all right, 2022 is at it again. We have had great luck with 2022. I've pulled the pot of prosperity a lot recently. Like it was like back to back times we've opened this set. And it was like out of 110 or something. It was ridiculous. Let's see if we can do that again. I would be down. I think it's still like 45, 50 bucks. 
Uh, guitar Gnards. We're going to see a little bit of a difference here because there are not two prismatic secrets in this. Icy Breeze, we have the Fairy Archer, so that makes it a little bit harder to pull the pot because there's only one in the entire thing. Pass the Rare. Similar. So there are some similarities. It's impossible not to rux the special Pass the Rare. Virtual World Gate, Xianwu. Here's Double Supers, which is eh, a little bit weird. Binary Blader, we have DD Assault Carrier. Dogmatic Genesis, and we have, ooh, hoo, hoo, Ash Blossom and Joyous Springs. No Pot of Prosperity, that's still a pretty banger card. So this is a main reason I think that the 2023 10s are not as loved so far. They don't have stuff like Ash and Pot, you know, just very, very generic cards that can go in almost any deck uh, in, you know, secrets. So we basically, it's mostly archetype driven stuff, it seems like, so that's one of the reasons people are not loving it. Next pack, Arm Dragon Thunder. We have uh, Parametaphils. Ultra Beat Trooper, Terrors of the Underroot. We have the Sacred Tree, Supernatural Danger. We have the Fluent Reason Rabina, Sunvine Crossbreed, Paleozoic Cambro Roaster, the Dark Ruler No More. That's a very good Ultra. We have a Breaking Rune God, not that good. And Incredible Ecclesia, another very solid secret rare. We will take that. Not a bad pack, pretty good 10 so far. However, I don't know with like the promo being added in and like the pre-release prices, if they're gonna be able to top 2023. It's really an uphill climb for everybody else because 2023 has that pre-release bonus. Plus, I mean, the promo is gonna help. Uh, Dragoonity Knights, we have Fable Treason. You and I, we have the Stardust. I almost rocked the special, but I didn't. So I'm on Daphne from Scooby-Doo. We have Screams of the Brandon. We have the DDD Super Sight King Zero Maxwell. Dragonlark Perrin. And finally, we have a Despian Q Fusion. Okay, that's not the craziest one, but it's not terrible. So we'll see. Here's the score right now. I don't know if they won or not. 2021 right here. 10 of Ancient Battles. This one is probably like the least liked of the last five years. So if this one can win, it'd be pretty surprising. I think it has the uh, the Dragoons in here as a uh, 25th anniversary. Or not, not 25th. We're not definitely not a 25th. A secret rare, I should say. There's the reprint of the Crossout Designator, I think. Or maybe this was the first year of the Crossout Designator as an Ultra. Yeah, that, that's what it was. And the reprint of Dragoon, that's what happened here. No promos in 2021 either, which people did not love that. Okay, can we get something crazy? I mean, Dragoon is like now a $17 card, I think, in Prismatic Secret Rare, just off the top of my head, I think it's around there. Uh, pretty big card, so if we could get that. Melfi Mommy, I know the cross out has definitely fallen off. Battle Survivor, still like six bucks, I think, maybe five bucks. Super Rare right there, we got the Adamant Spader Seeker. Oh yeah, and this is another difference. The secret rare comes up after the super. It's very confusing. Secret rare Dragon Maid, not that crazy. We've got the Nerval and the Magician Salvation. So some Dark Magician support in there, but that's not a great pack. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a lot of the packs of 2021 are not that good. But I have hope that we are gonna pull better out of this one. Here we go. Let's go, every 10. Proxy F Magician. Ret Time Reviver Emitter. One or eight. Archet Lightcraft. Tay Strike, we have the Gluttonous Rep, I don't know, I give up. Shiny Black Sea Squatter, he's squatting. We have the uh, Drytron, here comes the secret. So, uh, Dragoon, please. Okay, Farajit the Baron Blossom, I think it's a couple bucks, not terrible. Uh, definitely not gonna win you any uh, battles with other other tens that are on pre-release, but it's, you know, it's not bad. Final pack, this is gonna need the Dragoon, probably, and the Crossout in the same pack, which is possible, because Crossout's an Ultra in this set. Okay, Bellcat Fighter, let's go. Dogmaticism, Dark Templar. Disposer Learner, Dispose, Disposable Learner, there we go. Goki Guts, there you go. Uh, Minstrel, we have the Hot Claire. Trap Tricks Alamaris, uh, a little bit too late. I think the uh, Trap Tricks came, or early I should say, came out later, and Ice Dragon's Prison, another good card, but not that crazy. I mean, it's not gonna win them. I don't think that they're, they're probably in third right now out of three. All right, now we take on a Mega 10 2022, the 10 of Lost Memories. Here we go. Here's the little artwork on the front. Very cool stuff. All right, this is the four year ago 10. Can you guys believe 2020 was four years ago? I know, like it's pretty crazy. I still think of stuff that happened in 2019 is happening like a year or two ago because of uh, the whole COVID situation went pretty crazy. These are actually pretty expensive, these 10s at this point. Uh, we do have the original Dragoon in here. It's an ultra rare, so that could be a big pull. I don't remember a lot of what else is in here. I know there's some staples in here in secret rare, but I don't remember what they are. So let's just hope we pull them. 2022 or 2020, I should say. Four year old 10 at this point. Pretty crazy. We have Sun Salaman Great Wolvie struggling. We have World Legacy Guard Dragon. Abominable Chamber. I don't remember where the secret is on this one. It might be at the very front, to be honest. They've changed them up every time. Okay, super rare. Good. Speed lift. Is it going to be next? 
Oh, it is the Trickstar Korribane. That cannot be good. Trickstar have not been good in quite a while. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Doug. But yeah, just Trickstar. Probably not that crazy. Okay, two backs left. Not that I'm an expert on the meta, but based on card prices, Trickstar has sucked for quite a while. Second to last pack out of 2020. Then we go to 2019, which is pretty exciting. It's a pretty awesome tin. Rocket Synchron. Down to left alert. Do, do not lose 2020 to 2021. You cannot lose to that tin. That year was terrible. We have the Tinu Spirit. I believe in you 2020. It's very hard to say 2020 and then 20, you know, it's just confusing. Bye-bye damage. Unchained Soul of Anguish, here we go. Okay, Cyber's Quantum. I remembered, I think it's the uh, Boral Load Savage, I think is one of the ones. Ultra Rare, Dragoon's an Ultra, so it could be after this. Okay, not there, and... <laughs> Fitted Tracker, it's like, dude, this is not good. Uh, I don't know the prices of these off the top of my head. Some could have aged to like a dollar or two, so that could be adding up, but no big card so far. Here we go, last pack of 2020, come on. Age well, give us something crazy. This is, yeah, this is a pretty expensive, I think this is 10, it's probably like 50, 60 bucks if I had to guess. I could be off on that, I'm not sure, I haven't checked in a while. Glimmer, I don't remember when I bought this. I've just had it sitting here waiting for this moment for the tens for like six months. We have uh, Salamangrate, Dark Factory of more production. Number 20, Utopic Dark Infinity. Unchained Soul of Disaster, here's a secret rare, come on. Witchcrafter, Ugh, those don't feel like good secrets. Here we go, Ultra. Strength and Unity, that is definitely not good even though it has a blue eyes on it. And, oh. wow, I think that was a super dud of a 10. That might have lost to 2021, here's the score. It could be close though. All right, that was not pretty, but we do have one more and that is the 2019 gold sarcophagus tin. This is when they started this style of tin. They used to, 2018, they were still doing the massive like square ones that they've done for the last like 15 years or they had done for the last 15 years. Then they switched them up to these, which I, I prefer these a in a way because they're smaller. They were kind of losing creativity with those old ones. They were putting like Jade and Yugi on it every single time and it was just kind of basic. I mean, they're not better than the originals with the monsters on them and stuff and the windows and everything. Those are better, but these are better than like the 18, 17, 16 versions. They weren't that awesome. Let's get this thing open. But this thing does have promos. This is the last time we've had promos before this year. It was 2019. And these are some bangers. You can get like Nibiru and stuff. I don't know if they're randomized or not. I can't remember. If I recall correctly, I think you might get the same promos every time. I could read the back, but it's more fun to be excited. Or, or to be surprised, I should say. I have not opened this tin in a very long time. Back in 2019, I wasn't opening cases of product. I was barely even making videos in 2019. So it was like kind of when I started. So this is like a real throwback. I did open about 12 of them that I got individually though. Okay, yeah, I think that you get all the same promos. So the promos in here are crazy. I mean, Nibiru, I think, is in here. Um, Dark Ruler No More, I believe. I and mean, there's some crazy ones. There's the three cards. They're all sealed up in there. I really like the way they like seal them in the package with the packs. It like feels a little bit more safe. All right, here are the promos. Uh, Red Eyes Alternative Black uh, Dragon's not crazy, but it is. Actually, I think there might be like 10 different ones. I can't remember how this works. Hopefully we get the good ones. Uh, Palladium Oracle Mod. I think you guaranteed those maybe. Obelisk? Wait, maybe, wait, maybe not. I don't remember. Slifer? Okay, I really don't remember. Dimension Shifter, that's a good one. Okay, yeah, so I think you get five out of the ten. It's just random, so we didn't actually get Nibiru or Dark Ruler no more, which kind of sucks, but Dimension Shifter is pretty good. Obviously, you know, the god cards are really nice, so still really, really good cards right there, and they will add some value to the 2019 10. Let's go. Look at the... the that's such a weird... I don't know. I don't know necessarily like how that looks, but it's almost hard to read. I don't remember what's in these packs at all. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember. It's These even feel older. It's crazy. I mean, they are almost five years older. We have the, yeah, I mean, really four years because we're, you know, we're at the when one released and then another. It's kind of four years instead of five, even though it's five years of tens. Uh, Tells Mandra, we have the uh, Crusadia. Oh, there's only one super there and then a secret. Crusadia Magius. Okay. N Nightmare Corruptor. That's a good one. And Oh, there's only one ultra. One secret, one ultra, one super. That is old school, baby. <laughs> only three foils in the pack. Two packs left. Here we go. Mega Pack 2019. Been a pretty awesomely fun opening. If you guys have enjoyed all these different years of Mega Tens, you want to see maybe we do even more at some point. Who knows? Maybe the last 10 years of Tens. Let me know in the comments. That could be pretty fun. Gold Fang, we have uh, Maverick. And probably not every single one, but we'll see. Maybe one from each year. Who knows? Shark Cannon. Candle. And Sky Striker Ace, Hayate, very nice. That's a good secret. 
and beat bladesman for hire for those fur hire decks i like that for hire actually got some play recently i think it, i don't remember what it was being played with but it's pretty funny reminds me of the good old duelings days i know i've never said that on the channel before one more pack if you guys have enjoyed this video so far don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this don't forget to check out sassy Auto's links down below affiliate link for me it supports the channel i appreciate it if you guys do that and if you guys want to pick up some tins yourself anyway you might as well do it with the affiliate link also stream tomorrow it's gonna be crazy 110s being opened on the channel live youtube not twitch we do do twitch so go check it out all right here we go enough enough promotion leonis we have paladin restoration of the monarchs vampire domination training for hire DD flame high king genghis khan not khan and the red reboot all right isn't this banned now they finally banned it uh it was like limited for a while this is definitely banned colossus okay colossus one day you'll come back i have a lot of colossus ready to sell when they unban it shout out to tonefo show daxter tomato juice puffins of doom ernesto dn american doyster supreme sage 21 cj and then a tie show ian moosey jr barding robert f and thomas mclean thank you guys for supporting the channel i'll see you guys in the next video peace